Hi, my name is Haki Chan Mathu, and today I'll be talking about bismuth sulfide as a photoelectrode material for Dyson Strike solar cells. Now, what are Dyson Strike solar cells? Dyson Strike solar cells are the third generation of solar cells, the first being silicon based solar cells. They are lower in cost and easier to manufacture than the silicon based solar cells. So, why aren't we using them? Well, because the efficiency isn't as high as silicon-based solar cells. In order to do that, we are looking to improving various components of the Dyson Strike solar cells. So how does it work? Basically, if you can see figure one, we have three layers to a Dyson Strike solar cell, a counter electrode layer at the bottom, an electrolyte layer on top of it, and a photoelectrode layer on top of that electrolyte layer essentially forming a sandwich. So we have used bismuth sulfide because of its photocatalytic properties as an additional material to the titanium oxide that we normally use as a photoelectrode material. So bismuth sulfide and titanium dioxide composites were used in our tests to make a Dyson Strike solar cell. And we have performed various types of characterization. We have done an XRD spectrum, as you can see in figure three. We have done a v UV spectrum in figure four. And the most essential to calculate the efficiency, we have done the IV test, wherein we measure the current output and the voltage output of the cell when incident light falls upon it. Now from table one, we can see that the highest efficiency we have gotten is 2.7%, which is a very promising number. And we have also conducted SEM imagery of the bismuth sulfide used. As you can see in figure two, the SEM image of bismuth sulfide shows rough coarse particles of bismuth sulfide. Now, this is one of the areas where we see f further research we can do, as the microstructure of bismuth sulfide has also been reported in the as improving the performance of a Dyson Strike solar cell. And these are one of the avenues we are considering for future research. I'd like to thank Wichita State University for giving us the opportunity to re uh, do this research. Thank you.